Welcome back to MCU This Week, and this is a session where we speak with very special guests. And today we have two special guests from Vietnam, and they are Vietnamese students who are currently studying at IBSC or International Buddhist Study College at MCU. So let me introduce the audience, two of them. Firstly, we have our Venerable Tuc Ngo Phung, who is a IBSC student from Vietnam. Namaskar. And second one, we have Samaneri Tuc Tec Ngo Lan Thuy. Okay, so we have very two special guests today, and we would like to ask some interesting question uh, in uh, about Buddhism and their studies. So first, let's begin with Venerable. So could you please share with us about uh, Buddhism in Vietnam? Uh, today I'm very happy to be invited here for the sharing and interviewing with the MCU talk. Mm. Yeah, very honored actually. Um, about Buddhism in Vietnam, as I observe, uh, Mahayana Buddhism in Vietnam now, comparing with other countries in Mahayana Buddhism, is quite a flourish. Like, uh, apart from China, Korea, um, Japan, yes. then Vietnamese, Mahayana Buddhism is quite uh, strong now. They also go overseas study now, mostly more than 500 uh, students study Buddhism, and mostly they are uh, Mahayana monks and nuns. In general, we can say uh, Buddhism in Vietnam, it goes from the intellectual people now. They also try to practice and the one who, uh, they have a belief only. Mm -hmm. They also try to recite Amitabha to be, mm -hmm. to be born in pure land. Mm -hmm. So from the high level of the society and to the lower mm -hmm. level, they also try to practice. Mm -hmm. That is, I think, is a good news as the uh, Vietnamese citizen. I feel quite lucky within a very special kind of region, socialism, mm -hmm. and Buddhism still flourish. Mm -hmm. So um, you, you mentioned something, some, some method from Mahayana traditions that the people always chanting or reciting the names of the Buddha. Um, um, actually, yeah, according to the Telawa tradition, we also have this one as well, to recite the names of the Buddha, but maybe not as strong as the way we do. We call this one the Puttanistic uh, Recollections. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. can you explain the phenomena that happen under the Mayana tradition? Uh, yes. In Buddhism, especially in Pure Land Buddhism, we believe that uh, with certain kind of merit, we can set up certain kind of environment. Mm -hmm. So if I have the a number of merit, I can create my temples. Mm -hmm. So if the Buddha has a big marriage, so he can create his own environment, we mm -hmm. call the Buddha land, Sukhasati. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the uh, Sakyamuni Buddha, he has the vow to come to this uh, Saha world, you know, the suffering world, to help beings, living beings. And the vow of Amitabha Buddha is to set up a very beautiful and happy world called Sukhasati, mm -hmm. and he will come to bring the one who vowed to be born there. Mm -hmm. With a very special condition, before we go into to leave our body, we die. Before we die, complete dying, we recite Amitabha, 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 at least times. Then he comes to bring us mm -hmm. into the pure land. Mm -hmm. And from the pure land practicing, we reach into the Buddhahood, but not our hardship. Mm -hmm. So, especially the one who wants to be born in pure land, they have to vow with the bodhicitta and with the strong belief, the practice, that is three conditions. Like in Sabaka, we call Sabaka or Alhanship a practice. We need the Sila, Samari, and Manya. Mm -hmm. But um, in the pure land Buddhism, we need Bali, the vow, the to be born there. Mm -hmm. And the practice, mm -hmm. Amitabha, 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 like mm -hmm. that. Oh, so it's the concept of the vow or uh, aspiration, determination, yes. right? Okay. So as far as you talk about the um, the set of Buddhism, but um, it's only the Mahayana Buddhism, right? So I'm curious to know that how many sects are there in the Vietnam? I believe there are three sects, right? Yeah. Can you give a brief? Popularly, uh, two sects: mm -hmm. Zen and Pure Land. Zen. Uh, okay. Mantajana. Uh, there's a practice uh, 
chanting the mantra. But popularly, they very much believe that the Lama is recognizing of Avalokitesvara, and we do not really much differentiate between the sex. The note is starter. Mm-hmm. The Zen can also recite Amitabha name. Mm-hmm. And uh, Amitabha temples uh, practice. They also can practice Zen. Mm-hmm. The note is starter. I, 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 you talk about the subset. Um, I would like to, I like to know if, um, how many sets in Buddhism in, a, in general. Right. Right. Like in Thailand, right? in Thailand, we have like uh, Theravada as a main set. And we also have a subset of uh, Mahayana. So uh-huh. how many main sects? Three. There are three, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What are they? Kiyomi, Zen, and uh, Mantrayana. Mantrayana is called, uh, it's from Vajrayana. Yeah, uh, like the Bible we do. Uh, mm-hmm. Amitabha chanting, Mantra chanting, and Zen doing meditation. Mm-hmm. The methods. How about Theravada sect? Um, so Theravada is it's not a big population, mm-hmm. but we do not call it a sect. Mm-hmm. Uh, we call it uh, Theravada Buddhism. Mm-hmm. And Mahayana Buddhism is mm-hmm. not a sect, mm-hmm. but a kind of a school. Mm-hmm. Another yeah. school. A school, a quite big one. Uh, and within Theravada, uh, I think they have some sub sects there, uh, but not very okay. popular. Okay, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. look at how many schools are there uh, in Vietnam. Uh, two. Uh, two. 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 Yeah. One. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, okay. Oh. So I get that. I get the yeah. answer. Yeah. There are two, two. main schools yeah. of Buddhism. Yeah, so it's, it's like it's similar to Thailand. Yes, similar to Thailand. But, but, but we have a majority of the uh, people who believe in, uh, who, who's under the Taylor Modern Mahayana. Yeah, yeah, modern Mahayana. Is that the same situation? In Mahayana, in Vietnam, much more popular. Mm. For example, if you mention the word um, Vipassana or Samadhi, it's not so many people get familiar with that, but mm-hmm. if you ask about Zen and Pew Lan, Amitabha chanting, uh, everyone knows. So I between see. Thailand and Vietnam, it's similar in terms of the number of sects, Theravada uh, and uh, Mahayana, mm-hmm. right. but it's different in terms of, it contrasts, right, the mm-hmm. majority mm-hmm. of the people under Mahayana in Vietnam is more than Theravada in Vietnam, right? Yes, yeah, okay. Okay. Yes. So, uh, what uh, kind of practice that you have been practicing? Um, for example, Zen tradition, mm-hmm. that practice is quite special. In original from China, they say, uh, uh, without any word, direct point to the human mind and realize the Buddha nature. Mm-hmm. But Zen coming to Vietnam, in China, without any explanation, Vietnam Zen explanation. We need to explain to understand the Buddha teaching. Uh, properly, and then we put it into the practice. How Zen uh, Buddhism in Vietnam practice? Now, the Zen Buddhism in Vietnam under a uh, special meditation master called Thất Thanh Tử. Thất Thanh Tử. Yeah, he's quite special. Mm-hmm. Um, his method is recognize the wandering talk and do not follow. That is first step. The first thing, to have sati, to recognize the wandering talk. Ah. They are like a Tikta Nubasana. And mm. if we are able to recognize the thought coming and going, purify our mind in the deep down in our psyche, then we are able to realize our true nature. That means in that only space, there's no more thought coming and going anymore. Mm. And the next step uh, is to abide in that one. We call the Buddha nature. Mm. So uh, that's not really concerned about Sikta. Doing any activities mm-hmm. every day, we can practice Zen meditation by not allow the talk coming without our invitation. If it's coming, we have to invite the use mm-hmm. talk. If not, then we have to witness the talk coming and we be there for the talk, observing and let see how it comes, stay and go away. That's do nothing. Especially you know, Zen, quite similar to Vipassana. Mm-hmm. No reaction, mm-hmm. only observation, pure space there to accept, no, no any judgment, mm-hmm. uh, resisting. That is same, right? That's same, 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 same,
well, uh, it's inevitable for us to know that Zen Buddhism is spread and popular around the world, not only Vietnam, but also in China. So a lot of, a lot of uh, Theravada Buddhists set also interested in the Zen teaching as well, because Zen teaching, inside the teaching, they, they have a lot of interesting things yeah. to learn, right? Very interesting. This is in the Vietnam. The, well, I would like to go back to the Vietnam monks or Sangha communities, especially the educational type the types of education. So, before I'm asking you about the education of monks in Vietnam, mm -hmm. in Thailand, in Thailand, all the monastic monks always studies a couple of things. The first one is Pali studies. Mm -hmm. We are from the Pali grade, uh, Pali study grade one to the grade nine. This is the highest, right? Mm -hmm. The highest uh, level of the Pali study. So, monks. A Thai monk who study and graduate the Pali grade nine will be the expert in Pali language, mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. A part of that, we also have the uh, Tamma course. It's called Nakam, mm -hmm. uh, based on the Nawakova, the basic teachings of the Buddha. And then we also have the like uh, Tamma studies, Nakam uh, Tuksa, something like that. And we have a couple of more types as an alternative for monks. Mm -hmm. This is apart from the worldly uh, program that also available for monks as well. So let's talk about the education that's need for monks who live in Vietnam under the uh, Vietnam uh, control, something like that. Interesting question, you know. Firstly, uh -huh. we have to spend at least uh, three or four years to study basic Buddhist school. Basic Buddhist school? Three or four years. Three okay, four years. let's say four years. Yes, it's quite a lot. Uh, uh, two more years for the intermediate. Another two more years. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. Uh, so and then six. Yeah. And okay. uh, four years for the uh, university. Another four years for university. Okay. Is it compulsory for a month to study in the mm. uh, four years? Compulsory is the first four years of the basic level. The first four years. Okay, and another six is yeah. alternative. Okay. Yeah, another six we can choose. We can learn two more, or we can go jump into the uh, mm -hmm. four years of universities. That is, we count at the years. Mm -hmm. But the thing I want to share here is the relationship in Mahayana mm -hmm. you know, between the master and the student. Yes. I mean, individually attaining. Mm -hmm. Like uh, my disciple, I came them in a way that the living weight of the master is very much impact on the students. Mm -hmm. That is much more important than center than to the university to learn. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the uh, relationship between the master and the student in Mahayana way is quite special. That is one of the good points uh, because when we are among a nun, a monastic life, you know, somehow we leave our parents mm -hmm. and we feel lonely mm -hmm. and we need a relationship. And take care and sharing something we need mm -hmm. to be known by others, the connected between the student and master. Mm -hmm. That is very much done in uh, Mahayana tradition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. So, such study required for um, totally, in totally 10 years. So, I would say 10 years study. So, how about you? Uh, how many years I have spent? Can you share? I mean, not all of the Vietnamese tradition uh, of the process. <laughs> <laughs> yes, never mind. Um, there is uh, there is a list to, to study, uh, so you always study mm. as long as you stay alive. Right? Yes. So let, let's come back to the educational types mm. of the Vietnamese monks. Apart from those 10 year courses, okay. do you have other courses that monks need to attend, such as Pali language studies or Sanskrit yeah. or those? Uh, in Mahayana Buddhism, Bali is not really a special important. Mm. Mm. But Classical Chinese. Classical Chinese. We like young monk and nun, we want to read directly classical Chinese because the whole Divitaka is normally Sanskrit. It's in classical Chinese. You mean classical Chinese in terms of the historical text study, textual study, something like that? Yes, yes. Wow. So mostly Mahayana, they somehow several years gained in classical Chinese. And somehow they are good at classical Chinese, good at more than the mm -hmm. Chinese people can reach their own language in the mm -hmm. ancient time. Mm -hmm. I see. And uh, they have to learn other courses like meditation courses, mm -hmm. um, especially Zen tradition, they have to go for the retreat separately several 
week or month, no more any interaction with the outside like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Special course and uh, special course for pure land is we teach for recite Amita Bane without any talking with mm -hmm. anyone Amita Bane from the early morning into the night. night. Oh. Uh, again, into your dream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, how about Sanskrit language? Because you said uh, that, right? Yeah. Mayana is not based on. Uh, tell what I think. So, about the Sanskrit study, is that included in as a compulsory course for monks? Yes, Sans month? Yeah, Sanskrit is for it's a teaching that is going on in the university, mm -hmm. especially in Ho Chi Minh University, yeah. Sanskrit teaching. Uh -huh. And not quite many people are really good at Sanskrit mm -hmm. reading directly and translation. Mm -hmm. So, it's teaching, but not really popular and mm -hmm. not compulsory like mm -hmm. classical Chinese. Mm -hmm. okay. But Bali is now quite special. Uh, mm -hmm. Apart from classical Chinese, Bali quite popular. Even in Mahayana temples, there also lay people come to learn Bali. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. yes. That Bali becomes the, uh, one of the uh, special, very special, very special. Never before, really, mm -hmm. because the whole uh, Nikaya canon was translated just uh, mm -hmm. three decades ago mm -hmm. by the elder, most venerable Thukman Chao, the founder of the Wanghan University, Vietnamese mm -hmm. Buddhism in Ho Chi Minh. Uh, from that on, Theravada Buddhism come up into Vietnamese people's mind. Never before so happened. Like, how many years ago? Uh, what what think, can you remember? Uh, approximately? I like think around uh, three decades. Uh, three decades. Three, three decades. Three decades. Oh, 30, 30, years. Years. 30 years ago. I'm so And I'm yeah. Yeah, Bali <laughs> now, you know, reach to the people's mind, the concern for Buddhism, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe the real Buddha teaching. Mm -hmm. So they come mm -hmm. to learn Bali mm -hmm. to connect directly to the Buddha's mm -hmm. original mm -hmm. reach. See, at least I think uh, I think the people who study multi language can at least compare. Yeah, yeah. 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 So the first of all, maybe just only to compare between uh, Pali, Sanskrit, and English and China. So uh, you are good at Pali. Somehow you can do something for Vietnamese Buddhism Bali learning. <laughs> <laughs> and and about the master who teach Bali, what sect are they from? Mostly from Theravada. Mm. But some Mahayana, they also come to learn in Thailand, mm. Sri Lanka, and Burma. Mm. They also good at Bali. They are able to teach too. But now, you know, no more the distinction between the Theravada and Mahayana Buddhism in Vietnam anymore. Vietnamese kind of people, they don't want to really distinguish each other. Mm. They want to merge. Merge. Everything uh, stay together easily. <laughs> yes, yes. It sounds, it sounds like the growing the growing area of Theravada is making some process. But yeah, quite, 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 yeah. quite yeah. I see. Where the Mahayana, which located originally, and Theravada, which increased its yeah. area, can merge and can meet together. Yeah. I'm so happy for yeah. Vietnamese people yeah. for yeah. this situation. Their population is flourished in Vietnam. Mm. Flourished. Mm. In some outside, in somehow, the number of monks, number of temples, but the deep inside, uh, I don't know, but mm -hmm. outside appearance. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and what about the relationship between the Thai Sangha and Vietnamese uh, Sangha in terms of education university. or university? Mm -hmm. As I know, then, uh, I think around uh, 10 years ago, maybe the first scholarship offer mm -hmm. for Vietnamese monks. Oh. To learn full scholarship offered oh. by MCU. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 And my master yeah. is the one who sent them. Oh. And that is the first generation of Vietnamese students of MCU. Who is your master? Can you uh, say uh, My name? master is uh, the valuable, most valuable Thuc Nhật Tử. Thuc Nhật Tử. Yeah, he is the vice director of uh, Vietnamese Buddhist University. Mm -hmm. So he usually in charge of the overseas study of the uh, monks and nuns. So he uh, actually the first one who connected with I MCU. See. I see, I see. Um, is it the same master, you know, who took you to, who ordered you to come <laughs> Yes, that's correct. It's the same master. Oh, yeah. okay. So you, so you must make a great bow to him, a great bow to him. Uh, well, thank you, he's so a good friend of you. Yeah. And another uh, thing, as I observed, mm -hmm. When Mahayana monks, they come to connect with uh, Theravada monks in the university study, yes. like this, mm -hmm. the mind is open. It's no more Mahayana and Hinayana. Mm -hmm. That is Hinayana regarded as the uh, Theravada, since yeah. Theravada. 
before mm -hmm. they do not have the good environment to connect, they stay together. Mm -hmm. Somehow, Mahayana monks, the thing is, Hinayana, if they refer to Theravada, mm -hmm. but when they come to especially Thai, I, I, I mean Thai because quite close mm -hmm. with Vietnamese Buddhism. So when they come to my MTU and uh, no more gap. Mm -hmm. No more gap, merging together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The gap, it's already dissolved. That is disappeared. Yeah. Well, I would like to also ask uh, another another uh, special case. She is uh, somebody uh, her name is Tut Ngo Lin Thuy. Ah, so you know Tut Ngo from already um, told us that the the main reason why he came here is just the order from from his master. How about you? Did you uh, have you? by your master as well and is that the reason for you to come here or uh, you know what is the reason for you to select and see you ah. um, first uh, I would like to say um, good afternoon to everyone and um, thank you for have uh, give me an uh, opportunity to stay here uh, my respect to my uh, master Phuc Mo Phuong oh, he's your master yes he's oh, my master okay. and he's the one who ordered me to come here also I oh, you guys <laughs> At the first time when I uh, when uh, uh, go forth, I uh, really want to study more about the Buddha teaching, not mm -hmm. only in Mahayana but in Theravada also. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, when I was still a lay, uh, I uh, try to study Bali, but it's not really easy. Uh, I try to download the uh, document from the internet. It's really yes. very difficult. Yes, yeah, it's really difficult. Even in the grammar, I try, mm -hmm. but uh, it's not really. Easy to self study. Uh, so, how far uh, uh, did you go for the, uh, your own self study on the Pali language? Uh, because at that time I, um, I, I met my uh, master and I um, practiced meditation with him when I joined the class. Mm -hmm. And um, he, uh, at that time, he already finished his um, uh, bachelor degree from uh, Thailand. So he explained and he teach Vipassana. And uh, he mentioned much about Pali language is the original uh, language yeah. in the Tipitaka. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, I, I try, I, I want to study and I try myself to download mm -hmm. a document from the internet. Oh, but just uh, because I'm still working, so it's not much time for me to study. And after I um, uh, quit and um, went forth, uh, I stay in a monastery, and uh, in the monastery, um, we are Mahayana, so uh, there's no teaching in Pali language, mm -hmm. and uh, no teaching um, in uh, Theravada also. But uh, I want to study both in Mahayana and Theravada because we cannot distinguish which one is, uh, so which one is not, all is good at teaching. So I want to study all, and uh, at that time, my master just, um, Asked me if I would like to uh, go up, um, to study mm -hmm. in Thailand. Mm -hmm. So I say yes, please. Uh, I would like to go. I see. Well, you're very good. People. You are such a very good and adorable pupil. <laughs> you always um, respectfully um, say, have faith and respectfully yeah. humble and follow your master's yeah. instruction. Yeah. So uh, there are. Two main reasons for uh, to make you come here. The first one is the order from the respected master, and the second is is your uh, personal eagerness to to explore more on the Taylor with actuation. I think it's a very good reason to uh, you know sometimes we have more self, we have uh, attack or uh, conceits, and then we so strongly believe that we are already good, we are the best thing, and. That kind of person will never get more idea, and you know they cannot collect uh, or widen up their 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 knowledge, or even sharpen up their wisdom, something like that. So this is two reasons that you come here, right? You mentioned also about um, your, when you was a lady. So how many years? Uh, 
how long, how long have you been ordered as the as the press 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 Is it hard for you? Yeah, it's hard because uh, uh, I live in the um, the normal life like a lady. Mm -hmm. It's not really um, suitable for the monk and the nun in the monastery. Mm -hmm. So because I get uh, ordained so late, mm -hmm. about at the age of about thirty, mm -hmm. so the ordinary life it affects me a lot. So when I go to the monastery, it's still, there's a lot of things I need to learn, I need to study, and it's really hard to apply and train myself based on the Buddha teaching and from the master teaching. Mm -hmm. uh, for my ma um, as my master just said at the beginning, when we get ordained, we need to follow the master to study the way of life, the uh, behavior as a, a um, venerable. So it's really, it's not really uh, easy for me mm -hmm. at, at this uh, kind of age. Mm -hmm. But uh, for some young uh, people, there's no much much ego like the older people. There's much easier in the mm -hmm. monastery because I I I work many years already, so I have the ego, and it's really hard mm -hmm. to. It's really, really hard. I can see. Yeah. Well, I think you did good on your uh, priesthood, in your priesthood, right? Uh, I still remember the first time that I saw you. Uh, it looks like to me, it looks like you've been ordained for many years. So mm -hmm. that count. I think that's count. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's because you have a very good master. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like you. Well, at the uh, still thank you to my master because mm -hmm. at the beginning when I'm still a lady and I try, I want to get ordained. He's the one who teach me on uh, the like uh, the monastic life. Mm -hmm. He tried to teach me. Even he is a monk, I'm a nun. At that time, I'm still a lady, but mm -hmm. that's what I follow. And when I go to the monastic, I can uh, adapt mm -hmm. to the. But it's still really hard. To so actually, I have some point to make to the audience. Mm -hmm. Actually, what you have seen is not is not like this. Actually, they are come. They come in the group of four. Yes. With the master, and you also have the three, right? You have three disciples. Mm -hmm. Right, one master and two disciples mm -hmm. working in the same class. This mm -hmm. is very impressed me at the first time, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, fortunately, I am the supervisor of the teaching. I see. Mm -hmm. So, can you share with us what programs both of you are currently studying? And yes, yeah, we are studying a master degree of Buddhist study in mm -hmm. uh, IBSC. Mm -hmm. And you also? Yes, me too. Same class. Uh, it's, uh, are you confirm uh, IBSC? IBSC, <laughs> 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 yeah. IBSC is good. Yes. Uh, yeah. 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 Supervisor, yeah. professor, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> very, very responsive, very responsible lecturer. Okay. In, 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 in <laughs> 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 the thing I like from you is from the beginning of the class. Uh, the, the beginning of the class. The beginning of the class. The first time, yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> I'm reading three in the side of mine, so mm -hmm. I'm caring very much about the thesis, whether mm -hmm. the finish is on time or not. Mm -hmm. So the first time, Come up in the class, and you already right away guide us about the thesis. Mm -hmm. So what we are, what we are learning is focusing on the thesis. Mm -hmm. So the project will be reached soon. Mm -hmm. Then I come up to you and I say very much thank you, Ajahn. Mm -hmm. What you care is about our thesis in advance already. Uh, hopefully it works. Work in that way. For sure, we need to finish within two years. Mm -hmm. 
Two years, right? Can you repeat to the audience how many years that you expect to drive your, your master of art up ideally? Yeah, normally two years finish. I think you know how to do this. I have to guarantee. You know, I need three disciples of mine and maybe four. We finish within two years. Okay, have you heard? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and uh, to study at MCU, what do you uh, expect to get from here? You know, as we are among, I love the Buddhas and the Buddha teaching, the Buddha Sasana very much. The environment protects the life of the monks and nuns, which is very much important. Mm -hmm. So here, if you ask me the expectation, I will sincerely share is the monkhood here is not really care in the real sense because quite free, no time choice there. Mm -hmm. So among nuns, they have to really enjoy fully their monastic life. And very difficult for them to live in the full meanings of the ordained monks and nuns. Mm -hmm. And their bodhicitta, their motivation from the beginning will be ruined. Mm -hmm. Every day they day, day by computer class mm -hmm. and go back to the room mm -hmm. without any, you know, the master who observe and steady practice, mm -hmm. that is a uh, real pain in my heart. Mm -hmm. Another thing is, uh, very much, you know, feel warm when the IB, IBSC, uh, the, the firstly opening college, the connection between the schools, Mahajana, Theravada, and uh, Tibetan Buddhism come together without any gaps. Mm -hmm. Um, especially the NCU dinner hall. Mm -hmm. Whenever I come in, the cook, they're very gentle. Mm -hmm. The food is ready. Okay. We just come, eat, someone walks. Mm -hmm. We do not know how much our knowledge we have. Plus, we live, it's just like a king. So, mm -hmm. Someone comes to us from servant, mm -hmm. legally. I do not expect anything, but I would like to say thank you for the, you know, the whole period of Theravada Buddhism and especially Theravada Buddhism in Thailand mm -hmm. so that the Buddhism in Thailand now still flourish. We come here just we receive the lock. No more expectation. Very nice mm -hmm. answer, no expectation. Mm -hmm. But um, I believe that um, uh, the expectation that even in your answer is to expect in to present as a group of four. <laughs> this is your master's expectation. How about your expectation? Maybe this is the last question. Yes. Um, for me, also, uh, um, every day I have uh, just a little time to um, train myself in the uh, like chanting or mm -hmm. practicing the Buddha teaching in meditation because. Um, we are busy on the test, on the assignment, mm -hmm. but actually we are so lucky because the, 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 the lecturers in IBS is very, very support a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is what I also very much thank you to Ajahn Hansa and Ajahn Sanu oh, and Ajahn Sanabakon <laughs> and Ajahn Sanu also. They all, Everyone. yes, really, really supportive for the student. So I would expect that I can uh, graduate within two years. And uh, it's really thank you for all lecturer to have all the students to graduate on time, like mm -hmm. two years, not three years. Okay, good answer, as well. Thank you very much. So, so I would like to say thank you to Ajahn Star mm -hmm. because as me alone take care for my disciples, a lot of children he he's the one who is proud for four of my group of students. Helping around okay, here. Thank you very much. Uh, how about you? Would you like to make some 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 something to the audience? Lastly, um, it may be to create them luck. Um, for so being a nun, it's not really easy for me. Mm -hmm. I spend very hard time to decide to be a nun like this, and I I wish and I hope that everyone could. Um, follow the Buddha teaching and Buddha ways to get out of samsara, e even monkhood or nunhood or in the just lady. But um, for everyone, the suffering is stop the suffering and get out of this. Mm -hmm. Just I would, I just want to wish everyone to get out of samsara okay. and 
practice uh, Buddha teaching. Okay, me, me, you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that is all for the session of uh, the opening up the perspective from our students. So the time is already up right now. Thank you for which, watching, and we would like to thank you to our, our invited students. The first one, Venerable Tuk Nguyen Phuong, and the second one, Samanwari Tuk Nguyen Lien Thuy. They both from the Institute Program of the IBS International Program. Okay, so the time is up. Thank you for watching. The Assistant Professor Dr. Sanu Matnadun. And I'm Dr. Nana Pang for Paitit. Together with the MCU this week, this week team, we need to take a leap right now. Thank you for watching. Until we see you again the next time. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.